morning guys welcome to today's video happy thanksgiving to you guys if you live in canada so if you wanted to know why the heck don't doesn't everybody celebrate thanksgiving at the same time so she had a little history lesson today so i am in the aftermath of my grandkids being here and let me tell you <laughs> they are messy i'm actually shocked they didn't see that there's a lego kit there but they they tore through all of these toys pretty darn fast and it looks like they even kind of destroyed a few of them but that's okay you guys that's what holidays are for that's what grandmas are for so today is monday and we have more thanksgiving plans with more family that we'll be going to but this happened a lot of our baby chicks hatched and we ended up bringing this brooder that sam got remember i told you guys sam bought this brooder last year well he brought it in the house i asked him to and we put all of our six baby chicks. It's so cute because we can just sit here and watch them. There's three, six, yeah. But anyways, I need to get, I need to order some new chick feeders. I just need like the starter kit for chicks because they stand inside the food and they push it all around on the ground and then they can't find it. I don't know why they can't find it. You think that they'd be able to, <laughs> that's for sure a rooster. He's like charging Ellie. He's like, I'll get you Ellie. Anyways, and then they keep falling in the water, which is weird because I've used like just a regular bowl for water before for chickens and they've been fine. But also the heater is up really high for them, which I like, but for some, and this is all insulated, so you think it would be warm, but the way they're all standing there, like standing on their tiptoes practically, trying to get to the light, to the heat, makes me think that this isn't going to work for them it's not going to be warm enough for them so my idea is to switch them put the babies in the other brooder that we have in the other room and put the bigger ones in here because they don't need as much heat especially that one little one that's my favorite one and that's the one that fell in the water that little spotted one but i love it the dogs love it they just be watching them all day long don't fall in the water thing that's the one that fell in the water. Aren't they so cute? But I love it, just being able to sit here and watch them. But it is true, when I open it, there's so much heat at the top. Like, it's so hot up here. Put my hand down here, and it's just mildly warm. So, I'm sure that, I mean, it feels warm. Don't run in the water, you dumbo. I don't know how to fix that. I tried putting that stuff over there, but they couldn't get it. Anyway, I don't know. They don't seem very happy in here. I might switch them. Thanksgiving happened and everything is not too messy. Mostly I do the cooking and then Sam does the cleaning after. But this also happened. Sam and his fixation on the wood stove it is so toasty warm in here right now. Yesterday, my grandkids helped me find 30 eggs. 30. Come here guys, I got some eggs for you. And eight of them, ugh, they didn't even hear. And they'll find it. Come on! Come on! I just threw a bunch of eggs on the driveway for you. Eight of them were cracked. So I cleaned them up this morning and put them in the fridge. Eight of them were broken. Kids and eggs do not go hand in hand. I can tell you that much. Look! Look! Look at all the yummy eggs. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see them? Look! Look! There you go. They're finding it. Good. So I gave a few to the dogs and then I gave a few to the chickens. But today is a sad day, you guys. It's sad because it's the last free range day that our chickens have this year. It's Thanksgiving and tomorrow everything changes. This is where Jacob found the, the eggs yesterday. He found a huge nest right here. I didn't even know. I hate this room. No eggs in here. Nope, no eggs, good. I can see why they laid in there, over there though. It's protected from the wind. Sam's been keeping this door closed, the, the ramp closed to the trailer to try and deter that chicken from laying eggs in here. Oh. So let's see, let's see if it works. Whoa. Oh. Nope, no eggs in here. All right, we're good. It's definitely really cold out today. And 
as it gets colder it's more important for me to be able to collect all their eggs right away because they freeze and then it's awkward actually i saw some fun ideas on tiktok of how to use frozen eggs how to cook them but yep it's a sad day i will never come and sit and just be with my turkeys and my chickens again for the rest of this year. I should go get an apple for you. This is your last day out. You'll be sitting inside eating, drinking, going out in your own little locked in area. They both, the, the chickens and the turkeys, the, this whole group will have an area to go. And then the chickens, the other chickens will have an area to go. And the ducks will kind of go with these guys. But yep, yeah, that's it. It's the end of the chicken season end of the chicken season and I'm really sad actually because you guys know how much I love to just walk out of the house and just see the chickens roaming and but it's getting like so bad when people come over they're in their face practically like I have a picture that Sam thing took I think Sam took last night of the kids playing in the little play area that I made for them and the turkeys were over there bothering them and they actually like the turkeys and our turkeys haven't bit anybody our chickens none of this group has ever charged at anybody or been unkind to anybody they've been wonderful with them but it still can be scary so I'll put that picture right here <laughs> so you can see how crazy it must be to live in the city and then come here and be playing in the playground and turkeys being all over you Sam and Gabby have gone to get coffee it's coffee time I have two dozen eggs left from last night's fiasco whenever my grandkids come like Jack and Aria it's so funny like they always ask me can I take some eggs home because I always give them eggs and they love my eggs but then they always ask me like silly things like funny things like Nana Nana can I pick some fruit from your fruit bowl and take it home like that's their favorite thing all the pie and all the cupcakes and all the all the treats for Thanksgiving and they wanted to pick something from my fruit bowl and take it home. To be honest, that feels like a win to me. Were you working in the chicken coop? Put more roofs in. All right, let's see. Let's see what you did. They're always on that thing. So what's, cool. uh, oh, look at the cobwebs in here. We got to clean. Um, so the, the, you're going to close this? Well, I don't want them in there. Why? That's not where they're going. Oh, let's start at the beginning. So tonight is the night that we're gonna get everything set up so that the chickens don't come out in the morning. I'll show you the whole routine. The friendly group with the like the turkeys and stuff that I told you that are gonna be going out this door. He built new roosts. Yeah, because they like to be high. They like to be high. Wow, that's we should let her out with her baby. Gorgeous. Joking. <laughs> But I love that you use different things because it's good for turkey. It's good for chickens to have like a variety of different. This one actually should go this way because they need like a wide thing like that. But that's that's awesome. I you appreciate it. That bird rock could be a full bird rock. We they need to give them some down. new food. Yeah, they should go down in the bottom. And the bigger ones go in here. Yeah, and then the babies can come in here. And you could put a heat lamp in there if you wanted to. Yeah, because it's nice and tall okay let's go show them the outside area all right so over here don't that's even not, look that's not done. sam was trying to sam was trying to cover this in plastic for the wind but he ran out of his staple gun didn't work so now it's just a halloween decoration but woo, that's why he needs to cover it so he had thought of something else to to cover this so this is going to be where the chickens spend their winter and then over there is where the turkeys are going to spend their winter like the our friendly crew we need a name for that friendly crew so if we wouldn't do that how did you get how did you get string wrapped around your feet that can't be comfy where do they find these things where do they find these and their her feet are stuck together what the heck chicken enjoy your time you guys because tomorrow you're locked in okay go in the coop because, I probably have a stick. go in the coop because it's so cold what happened eh oh chicken's using the roost already yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah they get excited when they get new things wow This is a vet 911 show. Yeah, she was eating out of my hand a few minutes, like not long ago. 
Well, it's not like deep we on gotta, her skin, so she probably just happened. Yeah, it probably did just happen. <laughs> I don't know how she ha how it happened though. We don't question chickens. Yeah. I mean, the duck got wrapped in a net this summer, and now this. I'm gonna pick this stuff up and take it out with me. There you go, look at how quiet and calm she is. Like animals know when they need help. Her little foots were stuck together. There we go, let's see. Everything looks okay. Does that feel so much better, baby girl? Does that feel better? All right. There you go, you're free. Last year we were trying to winterize the goat barn, do you guys remember? Sam built, what did he build? Oh, he built one wall of the, of the, of the goat area so that they could have like, be in nice wind free area. And this year we're working on chickens. So every, ow, winter, something different. Why are you bringing big, huge branches all along the property that somebody has to pick up? Anyway, that's one catastrophe fixed, but we're just getting ready to go down to do the goats and put them to bed. And I will show you the other issue we're having. Okay, you guys, I just wanna show you how the new brooder is working out. Look at them, they're all nice and warm and cozy in there now. And they just keep watching us. Like they're as entertained by us as we are by them. They're so cute, you guys. I love them. I love this brooder. Like, look at how cute it is. It's like a little Christmas decoration. Drama in the goat field. Are you in heat? Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can find Mr. Piggy. Watch, he's so funny. So if we go in and turn on the light. Oh, you guys can't see him. But he's over here, completely covered. Completely covered, completely covered in hay <laughs> because he gets cold. All right, so the trouble in the coat field is that, whew, I smell some pee going on in here, is that he's, he's not able to breed our girls because he's so short. She's in heat. So this time I decided to do like a breeding stall thinking like hopefully oh you can tell she's in heat because she's sharing her food because they need more hay too Sophie because maybe without so many distractions like the pig because when one goat goes into heat every all the boys get riled up like they are all riled up so the pig was really calm and good today because there was no like breeding shenanigans going on around him so that's what I'm thinking about doing I'm thinking about doing a breeding stall, putting him together with the girl and then just letting them focus on that. He's literally barely too small, like this much too short. So I know he can do it. And I've seen it happen before and it's just a matter of like him getting on like some shavings that are just a little bit taller than where she's standing kind of thing. And he won't let me help. Listen, I can't open the door with your big fat nose there. <laughs> Stop. All right. Go to your bed. Holy moly. I think blah, I think this one's in heat too. It seems like somebody's in heat every other week on this farm. You're not going in there. She loves pig food. Get in there. Your nice cozy bed. Oh my gosh. Try not to spill your food, silly. Anyway, that's what we're trying. See, he needs to stand on there and you need to stand below. Nigerian dwarf goats can go into heat all year long, but their biggest, strongest heats are in the fall. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna like be fine by like November, December, because he's growing all the time. And I, th I know they're gonna do it. I see lots of people who buy like a buck the year that he's born, like he's, I don't know, five months, six months old, six months old maybe. And they can do it by then. It's just that he's that little tiny bit short for them. It's not for lack of trying and it's not for lack of knowing what to do. He's got it all down pat. He just, <sighs> short, short boy problems, you guys. 
even though it's getting like darker and kind of more dreary outside, I am loving the cozy feeling and having those baby chicks in the family room is honestly giving me like Christmas vibes and making me feel like this feels so good. Like feels cozy and inviting and they watch us and I watch them like I love it. Are you loving the new baby chick setup? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Water for tomorrow. Anyway, that is it. Whoops. For us, if you have any suggestions on short boy problems, let me know in the comments below. We've tried like putting him on a step and then holding her up against the step, but he's not interested in any of that. Like he likes her to be able to run and he likes the thrill of the chase. So let me know. I'm not in any hurry. We still have time and I believe in him. So <laughs> pray for us. So comment below if you have any suggestions of what we can do that might help. Don't you know that you